I was always bad at accepting people saying, you cannot achieve that. If you dare me or you say I can, I probably will do it. It was just before New Year's in 2012. I worked in a bank and I remember that that was like a two month period where I couldn't work because I was so tired. The doctors couldn't figure out what it was. A lot of people like said, you have burnout, you're working too hard, you're doing too much. I remember looking over my Instagram and I just saw no beauty in it and it bothered me. And I've decided back then to inspire people, encourage people and do that with texts that I share on social media. My name is Stefan Kunz, I'm 26 and I'm a lettering artist based in Zurich. So basically what I do is I draw words in a beautiful way. That gets me jobs that I can go to companies, create their uh, slogan, their logos, their advertising and make beautiful art pieces. I never thought of lettering in that sense of that would be something that I would pursue as a job or do full time. Two years ago, my business took off, my art was growing and I got more opportunities. It has opened doors that I've never thought would get open. What's up, legend? Something that's in me is I just want to get good at something. I got only as good with lettering because I started to pull down on everything else and focus on one thing and one thing only. I've been searching. Finding inspiration is essential to grow. Just walking down the streets, looking at the signs, you can find inspiration everywhere around. For me, letters could be everywhere or they could be placed everywhere. You go to a library, you look at books, covers, and you see like the letters they use, the words they use, and how they work together. You start sketching out, you have an idea, you start drawing it out, you rework the styles, the letter fonts, place it in, and try it out. Like if you use a pencil and a rubber, you're more inclined to draw into perfection, but when you're working with a permanent marker, you might end up with an imperfect line. And instead of erasing and trying to make it perfect, I draw it one time and then I try to, to work it out. There are some things that you cannot fix and then embrace those mistakes to work it into what you do. Sometimes I'm doing a mural and I'm finishing the piece. I always try to think of one more thing that I haven't tried and that I feel like could work or it could actually ruin the whole piece. Adding one more step ensures that you're always learning, that you're always progressing, so you're gonna be walking away with something more in your belt. Whenever you wanna start something, you're always gonna have obstacles in your way. I've never went to a art school. I don't have a diploma. I have nothing to really back me up as a creative. I'm just doing it. And for people that want to try something out, I tell them like, do it for 30 days, do it for half a year, do it for a consistent amount of time. If you're not happy after that, stop it. Try something new. Taking that leap doesn't mean to quit your job and let go of everything else, but it's taking that one decision where you're saying like, you know what? I'm gonna try it and I might fail at it and I might suck. But if you put your mind to it, if you put it long enough and you don't give up, there's probably nothing you can't do. Maybe I could get that. Maybe nobody has done it this way, but maybe I'll be the first one to do it. My name is Stefan and in 2012, I took the leap. Oh boy, you must be mad.